this is Dr. Do again. This video is continuously from the streaming of uh, systemic approach to medicine. Um, basically, it's just layering out from the uh, organic compounds, major organic compounds in, uh, found in our, our body and metabolism, and diseases associated with these compounds and the different level to the cells. Uh, the structures inside of cells and now those are tissues which are invisible and today I think I've uh, I finished the the four type of tissues associated diseases I've used some example to explain the diseases and the tissues uh, at the tissue level today I'm going to move on to the systemic level uh, the systems actually it's really called uh, the level of systems so the body have uh, eight or nine system depends how you uh, categorize it uh, and uh, first of all before I talk about any diseases I like to just uh, uh, explain or uh, remind you that uh, all the systems none of them can function as individual which means the closely in interactions between one system to the other one or more than one so this is uh, so the body is organism as a whole sound all the systems carry on the different function and some of them can be addendum some, some of them totally different and can be regulated at different level but the point is this nine system in individual of each one uh, function together otherwise uh, it will be uh, disturbed or uh, unbalanced homostasis so that's the the first uh, point I like to make so the systems, you probably know it, uh, i just remind you, uh, the nine systems, I see whether I can count them all. I'll use some examples from the outside of the skin, integumentary system, that's the, the fancy term for skin, and um, uh, skeletal muscles, of course, the muscular, uh, and also the, uh, the nervous system, the cardiovascular system, the endocrine, respiratory, uh, renal, and uh, reproductive, etc. And digestive of course urinary so this is about the uh, I think I did not list the nine but this is what the, the system refers to the system is the definition for system is uh, multiple organs uh, of course I have multiple tissues from those organs and multiple organs in uh, together uh, in one system to carry on certain functions uh, could be one uh, function or usually it's more than one function so this is about the, the system the definition of the system is uh, of multiple organs uh, function together to carry on to maintain the to contribute uh, for maintaining the hemostasis so today I'm going to start with the uh, the diseases of social individual system I probably just list some examples either common or serious so uh, for example I probably I start from the uh, the skin integumentary system because it's just from the outside and then going inside. So the skin, um, talk about the skin. Um, it's a it's an organ, it's a tissue, and also um, in inside of this uh, organ of skin, uh, the unique part of the skin is serving as the the first line defensive mechanism. Uh, so the screening out, uh, so as a as a body wrap inside of the skin to protect. Uh, so this is the the first line of the defense. And on top of that, the skin inside of the epithelial tissue, uh, which is stratified squamous cells with flat cells, different layers, and their uh, strong capacity to regenerate at the uh, cell bacilli layer. So these cells, just like stem cells, just uh, in about 40 days or so, they will just push up, uh, generate a new layer of the, of the cells and push up the old one. That's why we have this flakes and falling off, foliated skins just falling off. So this is another unique part. And also inside the, this organ of the skin, there are a lot of uh, nerve endings uh, serve as different kind of sensations, either the positional or the mechanical or the pain. So this is all the touching. So these are the uh, different kind of neural ending service and it's very rich of neural ending. So that's why uh, the particularly the end of the the organs, at the end of fingers, or the end of, uh, of the feet and the toes. So those endings really can sense 
which is uh, which serves as another or uh, indirectly as another defense mechanism. For example, if you touch a hot, uh, sharp uh, object, you feel it because the sensitivity of nerve endings. So you feel it right away as through the signal sending to the nervous system to contract the muscle and to withdraw your arm. So this is about the other unique part of this um, skin. And of course, on top of that, there's there are more than um, the functions I just mentioned. And also inside of this skin tissue, there is a, a lot of the immune cells uh, uh, to defend associated with this uh, a burying, uh, mechanical barrier effect. Also, there's some cells to carry on the immune functions. So this is about the skin. In terms of the function, uh, the diseases associated with the skin, the variety um, could be um, just the trauma, abrasion, it's very minor. Or uh, could be the ulcer, uh, particularly if the ulcer occur in the skin, usually uh, for those long-term bed riding or uh, diabetes with systemic disease, lost no functions, um, or after the stroke, for example. So these are the, the ulcer. Uh, and also the rash, variety of rash, rashes, could be caused by the very infection, like shingles, or uh, uh, or could be uh, caused by the bacterial infection, like the uh, the staph caused the, the blister, or could be um, autoimmune diseases caused the, the rash, like the psoriasis, or could be the uh, part of the systemic diseases or allergy, for example, the Steven Johnson's, this huge, large uh, blisters uh, holding a huge amount of the, the fluid uh, due to the um, allergy, allergic reactions to the medication to the environment. So this is about the, uh, the typical diseases of uh, uh, different form. In terms of also uh, inside of the, the, uh, the skin cells, there are different kinds of cells like the, the, the cells I mentioned, the, the uh, basic layer, bacilia, and can have the basal cell carcinoma or the uh, squamous cell carcinoma or the melanoma. So these are the, the malignant associated with this uh, skin. These are from different cell types uh, inside of the skin organ. Like the, uh, the basal cells will probably is one of the uh, malignant cells because it lost the morphology, lost the function of the, uh, the uh, cell of bacilli from the bacilli layers. But however, the basal cell carcinoma do not uh, uh, metastasize to the other areas. Usually it's localized. It is malignant though because the, the cell morphology and function, that's how it defined the malignancy. And also the, the squamous cell carcinoma, of course, uh, it's uh, another uh, serious condition that's quite common associated with the, uh, the sun exposure. Basically all the skin cancers are associated with the sun exposure. Uh, squamous cell carcinoma also has the, uh, uh, sometimes uh, quite aggressive can be metastasized to remote area. And the other one is, of, of course, the uh, melanoma. It's also quite common, either from the mole uh, uh, developed, proliferated to the malignancy, or just the, um, the melanoma from the, the melanocytes. So these are, these are all associated with the, the skin, uh, the sign ex exposure. So the signs to look for is if you have the moles changing the color or if you see something grows on the, the sun exposure area, the shining. Um, so if just if doubt, just go see your doctor to check it. So this is about a very briefly talk about one of the system in the body and the, uh, representative some diseases. Some of them could be very serious like Steven Johnson's, it's quite life threatening. And also uh, some of them uh, quite like the malignancies might uh, have the inter internal organ metastasis also could be life threatening. So I'm going to stop here and the, long uh, the video is longer than I thought. But thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.